Hello everyone, it's Hunter and welcome back to my channel. If you guys are new here, it's so nice to meet you. In today's video, we're going to be reflecting on 2022 goals and looking at my goals for 2023. I have them both on paper here so that I can go over them with you. I love to do these kinds of videos. I do one at the beginning of every month, so like monthly resets. And also, uh, I feel like a lot of people in their resets, they like reset their budget and they clean their house, change sheets, do things like that. And I like to do those things at the beginning of the month, but for for me, these videos are more of like a mental reset. So I'm resetting my mindset when it comes to like my goals and things. So that is why I do these videos. I find it really important for me to sit down and share them so that I am being held accountable to those goals, but also for me to just sit down, take the time to reflect and set new goals because otherwise I probably wouldn't do it. So with that being said, before we get started, I would love it if you guys would subscribe to my channel down below and I'd love it if you guys would give this video a thumbs up. That really helps my channel grow and let's go ahead and get started. So my first goal that I really wanted to accomplish was just to take care of myself. That wasn't necessarily a goal. It was kind of just like a mindset change. Um, and those things for me included going to the gym, eating better food, taking my meds and advocating for myself. I will say that gym and food were not it. <laughs> if you guys don't know, I am now pregnant. I'm 24 weeks. And the first uh, 28 weeks, I was nauseous. And my doctor told me that I should really just focus on surviving. So eat what I can to survive uh, as long as you are nauseous. <laughs> and so I've done a really horrible job of food and I also haven't been to the gym because truthfully I got a really bad migraine in March uh, whenever I went to the gym once and honestly it's kind of turned me off from going to the gym because I'm so scared of getting another one. Also while I'm pregnant I know that I can and probably should work out. It'll make giving birth and also postpartum a lot easier but I literally can barely walk up the stairs in my house without feeling like I just ran a marathon. So I genuinely just like am having the hardest time with that um, but I do think that I did a much better job of taking my meds every day that I find that it makes a world of difference as it should so there's that and then I do think that I did a good job of advocating for myself just with insurance things asking questions and making sure that I understand things before I pay my bills because sometimes it's messed up and sometimes we'll just let you pay the bill even if it's messed up so uh, definitely advocating for myself was something I did it was hard I cried a lot but I got it done so all was well there the next few things again I wasn't really good at um next was to be a better cook pregnancy man has had me so lazy honestly like I literally am just so tired all the time so I fail that next was to be a better friend I'm not sure if I was a better friend or not I tried so hard I feel like I could have tried harder so there's that the next one was to read my bible more genuinely I suck I put this on my goals every single year and every single year I fail at it I am human but I really do need to spend time with the Lord more because your relationship with someone doesn't grow if you don't spend time with them if you don't talk to them so I really need to spend time in the word so that I can go closer to the Lord. And the last one, which is the only one I successfully completed on this, is read 120 books. My first goal was 120 books because that is 10 books a month and I read 200. So I initially was 120, then I increased my goal to 150, then I increased to 175, then I increased to 200 and I hit 200 on the 30th of December, I think. So I hit it just in time, um, but I also knew I was gonna reach that goal. So I wasn't like stressing myself out trying to like rush to get to the end. So otherwise I probably would have read a few more, but I was really just trying to take in the holiday season and be with my family. Next was financial and I'm gonna kind of fly through the rest of this stuff just because I feel like it doesn't really require a ton of explanation. So the first one was just to save. I failed at that. Next was to get a new credit card. I did get a new credit card and I love it. Next was to make $2,000 in freelance projects. I did do that. I shot some weddings and I also did some other photography work for people and A plus there. And then next was to possibly consider buying a new home or a new car. Both. Both of those happened. I got a new car and I don't know if you can tell, but this is a different house than the one I was in at the beginning of the year. So go me. Next, career-wise. <clears throat> I wanted to hit 10,000 subscribers on YouTube. Um, at the beginning of the year, uh, I had 7,430 subscribers and I successfully hit that in February. Don't know how that happened, but I'm very thankful. Thank you so much. Next was to have 750,000 channel views. Right now, I'm sitting at 910,000. So that was also a successful run there by about 160,000 over my goal. Next was to have a video reach 100,000 views. The video that made my channel kind of grow really quickly at the beginning of the year is the video that got me over 100,000 views. I think it has like 150 now, which is awesome. Next was to give myself a break. I pre-filmed videos whenever I went on vacation this year, so I didn't have to worry about editing or anything like that. And it truly helped me to be more in the moment on my vacation. I did film because I vlogged it, but that was because I wanted to, not because I had to, and it was a good time. The next one was to make 
$1,000 in AdSense and I do not know what the total amount was, but the year before I made just over a thousand. So I thought let's double it. So uh, I did hit 2000. I actually was over 3000, which is awesome for me. And then the next one was to get three paid sponsorships over a hundred dollars. I didn't get a single paid sponsorship over a hundred dollars, which is so sad. And I only got two paid sponsorships, but that's okay. It's better than nothing. So I'll take it. Next was to take no unpaid collaborations. So I did have less collaborations in 2022 than I did in 2021, but it's because I was not going to do any that were unpaid. Even if it was only for 50, a hundred dollars, I am not doing the work. That's kind of where that came from. Next was to be consistent on Instagram and TikTok. And I do think I did a better job of doing that than I initially expected myself to. Statistics overall, I started with 7,430 subscribers and now I have 14,558, at least on the 31st I did. I started with 518,000 views and now I have, or again on the 31st, I had 910,000. I forgot to write down how many Instagram followers I had, but for some reason, but at the end of the year, I finished with 2,156. And on TikTok, I started with 317 and I have 539, at least as of the filming. So that was the 2020 goals, 2022 goals. So now I'm just gonna give you a little recap of things that were not on my goals list. So read more books than ever before in one year, 200 books. Um, I got pregnant, which is crazy. I set up an office that I'm actually really proud of. I'm very proud of this office. I have two bookshelves. I have a desk I really love. I love my whole desk setup. And then I went to a brand event, which was really, really awesome. I went to the launch of the ITK skincare. They had a party in California and that was so cool. And to go along with that, I went to California. It was for the first time and I flew by myself for the first time. So I flew across the country by myself and I went to California for the first time. So uh, really big things happened this year and I'm super proud of everything that I accomplished this year. So now let's just look at 2022, 2023. I did make a time lapse of me doing this. So I think I'm, I might overlay it onto this part of the video so you guys can watch me make it while I'm talking through it so that you're not just looking at me the whole time. I have my personal financial slash money goals and my career goals. So let's start with personal goals. First, uh, I want to learn how to be a mom. I have to learn how to be a mom. That's not really an option. But the important part here is that I wanna learn how to do that while also taking care of my mental health. I know that new moms suffer from postpartum depression and anxiety, and I am really worried that those are going to affect me because I suffer from anxiety and depression just regularly. So I'm really hoping that the postpartum hormones do not make it worse, because um, I know I'm already gonna be an incredibly anxious new mother, just out of, you know, I'm anxious for my baby's health. So there's that. Next is to read my Bible consistently. See, I told you I put this on every year. Um, I have this book called The Bible Recap and everybody talks about how much they love it. And I got it at the beginning of last year and then I finished like nine days of it, which is really sad because it has 365 days. So I'd really like to do a better job of that. Next is to read a hundred books or more. I know I read 200 books this year or in 2022. However, 2023 is obviously going to be a year of really big changes for me in my life. Gonna have a freaking baby. So obviously I'm not gonna have as much free time to read as I did in 2022 and the free time that I normally would spend reading, I'm gonna wanna spend sleeping whenever I can. So definitely 100 books, I feel like is pushing it, but also I think it's doable because I read 100 books before, or by May of 2022. So um, definitely doable since my baby's due in April. So I think that's definitely possible. I just have to pace myself a little better. The next one is to put others first more. I'm really horrible at this and it's not because I'm not, like I, it's not because I don't want to, but it's because I just genuinely don't think about it. So I want to be more consciously aware of putting others before myself. I'm obviously gonna have to do that with a baby, but I wanna do that with all the people in my life, not just my baby. Obviously my baby's priorities are gonna come before anyone else's um, because my baby is not gonna be able to take care of itself, but you know, you get what I'm saying. So I just wanna consciously be more aware of other people's needs and do what I can to take care of them in any way that I can and always take my meds. This is something that while I am really proud of myself for in 2022, I want to continue to do well in 2023 because taking my meds is so important especially like I said while taking care of my mental health this is part of it so there's that the next section I have is the money goals um so I want to pay for a baby slash hospital bills without going into debt I know a lot of people do go into debt and it's really scary because American healthcare is so crappy even if you have a really good insurance so even if you have really good insurance so uh we have a seven thousand dollar family deductible so we're gonna end up paying all of that uh, and that's terrifying to me that's a lot of money so really I'm just looking to do those things without 
without going into that. Next, I want to have some no buy months where I am specific about keeping track of what we're spending every single day, or at least me. I don't, I don't need to pay attention to what he's spending because whatever. But um, it's but me because I'm the one who does most of the like non-necessary spending in this household. So I want to only focus on like have months where I focus only on necessary spending. Um, so I'm not buying stuff like I'm not going to Target and just grabbing a bunch of random crap that I don't need, things like that. I really just want to be more conscious of what I'm spending, where I'm spending, especially because like, again, with a baby, you have all these new things you have to take care of and pay for, diapers, wipes, and um, I'm not sure how breastfeeding is gonna go, so I might have to buy formula, who knows? Um, I really wanna breastfeed, so I'm hoping that will help on the food expenses side. However, you never know how that's gonna go. I'm not God, so I don't know. <laughs> um, but I want to have those about no buy months where when I'm looking at what we spent, it was only things that were necessary, like groceries and gas and again, diapers and wipes and things like that, but nothing unnecessary. And then to go along with that is just to minimize the mindless spending shopping for no reason. I like to browse websites a lot and sometimes I will impulse buy something. Um, so if I stay off the websites then I'm not gonna impulse buy. And just like to, to minimize the spending that is not 100% necessary. I will say like buying the Stanley Cup was, it was not 100% necessary. However, this is a spend that wasn't necessary that I do not regret one bit. However, like I don't need to buy scrunchies when I see cute ones at Target because I have literally so many of them. Um, so that's the kind of mindless spending I mean. Also, I don't really need to buy any candles because I was gifted a lot of candles this Christmas. I love candles. I will spend money on candles all day long. Unfortunately, I'm really bad about spending money on things that I don't need or things that I already have. So only like buying body wash when I need body wash and not spending it on a new scent without spending, like without finishing what I have. I have lots of lotions. No more lotions until you're done with the lotions you have, Hunter. That kind of thing. <laughs> and to kind of go along with that one, this one is very specific. It is to only buy books from must buy authors. So ones that I have all of their other books or a majority of their other books, and I'm looking to read those or books that are super highly anticipated for me. So ones that I know 100% that I'm gonna read the day it comes in the mail or the day that I go get it from the store or I'm gonna read it within the month of getting it because I have lots of books on my shelf that I haven't read. And so I want to focus on reading the books that I have. So um, that was all for my money goals. So now career goals. I want to reach 17,500 subscribers on YouTube. That's like 4,000 more than I have now, 3,000 more. I'm at 14,000 right now. So that's 3,000 more. Next, I wanna have 1.5 million overall channel views. I am less than 100,000 views away from hitting a million views on my channel, which is insane. Um, and I'm super grateful for that. So I'm hoping 1.5 million views is doable. I want to have another video go over 100,000 views. I wanna make $3,000 in AdSense on YouTube. I want three paid sponsorships that are, I don't really care how much they are at this point, just paid sponsorships. <laughs> and then I wanna make $200 at least in affiliate links. I know that it's not really super difficult to make $200 in affiliate links, but I feel like I did a really bad job of actually using affiliate links in 2022. So I wanna do a better job of like remembering to link things, posting more on my Instagram story and making sure that I'm putting them in my YouTube videos as well. Um, and that's from Amazon or from like to know it or just any other affiliate things, just a combined total of $200. And I wanna be consistent and grow on TikTok and Instagram. And then I just have my beginning stats, but those are the same as my ending stats from 2022. So that is all I have for today's video. If you guys enjoyed it, I hope that you will give this video a thumbs up and that you'll subscribe to my channel. Help me reach my goals. Um, the reason why I didn't put more than 17,500 for a subscriber goal is just because I can't force people to subscribe, um, but that's what I want. So we'll see how that goes. If you have any goals that you're trying to reach in 2023, good luck. I hope that you accomplish every single one. I hope that you reach all of your dreams and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.